Tobias and Mozzie Travel the World was inspired by our soon-to-be son's nursery room. We went with a Indiana Jones kind of safari theme, so I wanted to capture paintings of around the world, but I thought it'd be fun to capture the relationship between our soon-to-be son and our dog, Mozzie. Now, of course, Tobias is not here yet, so we don't actually know what their relationship's gonna be like, but we have wishful thinking that they're gonna be very close. So some of the things I was thinking about in this series is that to create a series, I wanted them to go together. I wanted them to feel like they were part of the same story. In order to do that, I utilized some of the same colors throughout the palette. So Tobias is always wearing green with an orange backpack or an orange lifesaver. Obviously, Mozzie is always white. He's our little West Highland Terrier. Um, their relationship is portrayed in each scene. We also always show the back of Tobias. So you never actually see Tobias's face because we don't know what he's gonna look like yet. And I didn't really want to give the likeness to the character um, until we knew more about who he was. So in these in this three-part series, it's just his back that's shown, but Mozzie's face is very present and you get to see all of the different emotions that Mozzie has on these fun adventures. One of my favorite things that kind of happened accidentally about halfway through the series, but ended up being a really powerful tool within the series was the use of a through line. So you'll see in these three pieces that there's a line that starts about here and it slowly makes its way up and all the way over into the ocean. And that through line actually gives you this momentum as I'm telling the story. Same with the color palette. We start with a more with a really equal parts blue and orange color palette. Then we move into the safari scene where it becomes more orange and green and the nursery has a ton of green in it already because the walls are painted green. And then we finish off with, again, a lot of that blue. So you kind of get this balance out of those colors, but still with the rocks, we're bringing in those oranges and yellow colors that we've had throughout the rest of the series. Same with that orange color and the green. Those are seen throughout each piece of the series so that there is this fluidity that comes about it. So in the first painting of the series, Mozzie and Tobias are in a hot air balloon ride over the desert. The goal of this piece was to showcase this like fun and whimsical adventure. I have always loved hot air balloons and I, there's just something really childlike about them. So I wanted to portray two of them in a hot air balloon ride over the desert um, usually hot air balloon rides happen first thing in the morning when the air is still cool. So it's taking place at sunrise. It's the beginning of their adventure. Some of the biggest challenges I had with this painting were getting the atmospheric perspective correct with the landscape. Um, I had to kind of play with the colors a few times and doing a few different layers, which utilizing acrylic gouache instead of my normal gouache was really helpful with this because acrylic gouache dries. So it creates a layered effect, whereas watercolor gouache, you can always reactivate it. So it always kind of has that watercolor feel, in which case, if you do need to layer, it gets really muddied. Some of the things I was thinking about during this painting were the light source. So the light source is coming from a far angle because the sun is just rising. So you'll see that it come, is coming in from the right side and that is creating more shadows, which gives you this contrast, which makes it a little bit more lively versus having the sun coming like directly at you or from behind you or anything like that. Um, I also had a wonderful reference photo that I found on Pexels. And anytime I have a really solid uh, reference photo, it always makes my art better. And so I was really excited to have a very solid photo to utilize this. However, I did not have a good reference photo for the people inside the basket. Most photos of hot air balloons are from a very far distance. So you're not actually seeing any kind of details or really a lot of shape to the people that are in the basket. So getting Tobias and Mozzie in the basket with enough vividness 
was a little bit of a challenge in figuring out proportions. And then there also has to be a third figure in there who's running the hot air balloon. But I didn't want that person to be in detail or to be important to the story. Like the main focus is Tobias and Mozzie. So they're just this like black silhouette in the background. The second piece I did was the African safari. And I will admit that the cheetah in the front is one of the greatest things I have ever painted. <laughs> I am so proud of how this cheetah came out. And um, the goals of this one was I lived in Uganda when I was um, in my early 20s. And I, it is still one of the most magical experiences of my life. I dream about going back all the time. And so the more I can have references to safari in Africa and the cultures there and the animals there, the better because I want my son to learn about what a wonderful and magical place this was. So I also wanted to capture all the different animals that come with the safari. So we have the cheetah, we have the elephants in the background, and we also have the giraffes. Now I originally had zebras off to the side, which was really fun to the story, but getting the proportions just right and getting it to have this like fluidity of where you're going to look on the page never really panned out correctly. So I ended up removing the zebras from it. And in the end, I think it's stronger. I'm a little bummed not to have the zebras there, but we might just have to do another painting to, to bring in some zebras to the nursery. Some of the challenges aside from that one was uh, getting tones just right to show the depth. So I really wanted you to be able to see far out into the distance, which is where the giraffes are and the elephants are, um, but also have all this detail in the foreground, which detail comes with saturation, sharpness, and contrast. And so wherever you're look, wherever you're focused on, you're going to see the most of those three things. So in the background, things get a lot less detail. They get kind of hazy. The color saturation is a lot more muted. And so playing with that and getting that balance just right was a little bit of a challenge. But for me, the biggest challenge was actually painting the Jeep. Um, once again, I did not have great reference photo for that. And so that became a challenge. But also in, you know, I have this style that I am, it's illustration. It is supposed to feel kind of like a children's book, but I've always had, I've always said it's more like an, a children's book for adults. So there's this balance of how illustrative you feel and versus being really cartoony. I never want it to feel like King of the Hill or something. I want it to be more detailed and more vivid, to have more story. And that comes with getting a lot more details in it. So one of the other problems that I face is um, I, for some reason, really like to round off edges and make things really smooth and curvy. And there's probably something very like deep in my conscious about the divine feminine that comes into that. So I blend a lot and I make a lot of like smooth curved lines which isn't necessarily true to nature or true to form, especially when you get into something like a vehicle. So getting those angles and those sharp edges back in there, not over blending, and then making sure I have plenty of detail and texture were things that helped to create um, a more cohesive painting and make this a stronger piece. Finally, the last piece was Mozzie and Tobias go sailing. And this one was actually a last minute addition. I had originally had a different painting in mind that I, I completed of Tobias and Mozzie walking into the like Himalayas or into the mountains and looking up at this giant mountain. And I liked that painting. I didn't love it. And then as I finished some of the other paintings, it didn't feel like it went with the series. There was something a little bit off about it. I think Tobias and Mozzie were too big in it. The color palette just didn't end up fitting right with the other ones. And so as I was finishing up these other two pieces, I thought, you know what, I have this other idea for the adventure that they could be going on. And it's this like all underwater scene, but at the very top, you see them kind of sailing away. So you're getting that like, that line divider of above water versus underwater. And the more I thought about it and the more it started to come together, the more I loved it. And this actually turned out to be my favorite of all three of the series. Um, so in it, you can see Mozzie and Tobias are up in the sailboat and they're sailing off into the distance. So you actually see both of their backs this time. Um, they're on to the next adventure. You don't know where they're going right now. But then you kind of have this wave of water. And as you 
are hit by this wave of water, you're also seeing underneath. And what's under the surface is this coral reef with some fun animals and fish, and then this really great ray of light coming through. So one of the challenges I faced with this was not getting too blue because there's so many warm colors, the, the yellows and the oranges and the other paintings, I had to make sure that that was brought over into this, even though we're in the ocean and it's a very blue scene. Just like the safari painting, I didn't have a single source for reference for this painting. This actually comes from probably five or 10 different photos. So I had each of the individual animals, I had the reef, I had the water, I have a sailboat. All of the reference photos are come from different sources to create this final piece, which is fun and it ended up working really well in the end, but it's always a challenge to kind of collage those pieces together to create a solid um, final painting from multiple reference points, especially when you're talking about light sources and color sources and all those things being so vastly different. Together, the three of them create this really fun, magical story of traveling the world and going on adventure and seeing how nature interacts with us in the most beautiful of ways. It's colorful, it's whimsical, and I couldn't be more proud of how this series turned out. And I absolutely love it in our nursery. Walking by it every day makes me so excited. And I can't wait to find out how much Tobias is actually going to look like his Tobias character in these paintings. So if you are interested in these paintings, they will be available on shopmodernmagic.com, both as prints as well as stationery.